So in this video, we've got another two in one because they're both really short chapters, but now we're playing as Chaos Vincent. This is where the run gets really hype and really exciting. But you notice now that we don't do city dashing anymore. Your quickest mode of moving around is just dashing, so hitting square on the default controls. And you also have a different gun too. The gun only has six shots and it's death penalty, which I believe is Vincent's best gun in OG Final Fantasy VII. Some of these enemies are annoying and can stun lock you with their attacks. You can shoot them if they get in the way. But pretty much the biggest thing you want to watch out for in this level is your health. And if enemies are being annoying, just shoot them. You can kill them all in one hit. At the end of this section over here, there's going to be two rows of starfish that are going to be encircling each other. And what you want to do is time your shots so that you can kill two with one bullet because they'll be parallel with each other. And then that will one, save you bullets and two, save you time. I kind of mess it up a little here, but you can see I do it with a couple parallel starfish like that. But the optimal way is to wait till they line up and then shoot them with one bullet. This next section's pretty much on rails. Just follow the path that I take and enjoy the good music. You also don't even have to attack these guys. Once again, you need to kill all the starfish to progress in this part. Uh, three of them spawn out of that portal at once, and you can see them spawn out, so you can kind of shoot middle, right, left. It's a good pattern. The path forward is pretty much a straight hallway. Shoot these guys as they spawn so they don't stagger you. Just keep dashing forward and eventually this chapter will be done, and then we'll be moving on to the last chapter. And once again, you can take the XP here because we're done upgrading everything. Okay, now to tell you about Crystal Feelers. This is the other bane of every dirt speedrunner. Crystal Feelers is 100% an RNG fight. These starfish enemies do drop some death penalty bullets. We should have enough for the final boss no matter what, but the Crystal Feelers, as you can see, have to open up for you to attack them, and then you have to run up and melee them to destroy them. I got some pretty decent RNG on crystal feelers in the video up until the very last one the last feeler wouldn't open for 15 seconds and that's just the nature of the beast you get a really good run all the way to the final chapter and then you get bad crystal feelers potentially losing a pb 
it is what it is, but the game's fun, so we deal with it. You can preemptively switch to your limit breakers. We're going to use the last two here on the last boss after Cocoon. Omega Cocoon's a super easy boss. Just go underneath it, zoom in, and then spam R1. <laughs> Not much more to it than that. And then after skipping all these cutscenes, we're on to the final boss, Omega Vice. So pop your Limit Breaker, get underneath him, zoom in, and this is the fastest, like, bullets per minute, I guess you can say, of the game. Is Limit Breaker, scoped in, mash R1. When he slams his hand down like that, you can jump to prevent yourself from taking damage. Your Limit Breaker does go away after a little bit. Also, when he slams his drill butt into the ground, you can jump over that too. But once his HP reaches zero, then that's time. Thank you so much for watching my Dirge Any% Percent tutorial. I wanted to shout out the Dirge speedrunning community, especially NT1 Evolution, City Hall, DE Cosmic, Yoshi, Shademp, all of those guys are awesome and are super helpful and kind. We do have a Discord for our community if you would like to join that. It's on speedrun.com on the Dirge of Cerberus page. I should also say that if you liked the series, please consider subscribing and liking the videos. If you have any questions at all about anything, please consider posting a comment on whatever video for what chapter you need help with. I'm also pretty frequently active in the Dirge Discord. And I think that's it for me here. Thank you so much for watching once again. My name was Dynamite Dan TNT, and I hope to see you running Dirge of Cerberus in the future.